everybody and welcome to Page to Frame Storytelling where today we are going to break down a beautiful scene from Finch. Spoilers ahead. You get a mid shot on the door where Jeff is and Jeff is the robot. Honestly, I think that shot is just to add that Jeff is entering into this conversation before he actually enters the conversation so it's a physical entrance. Now I like this wide shot of Tom Hanks character who is Finch behind the curtain and then you have Jeff. Now this is a very important shot because it's showing you a physical barrier between them. I like this over the shoulder shot. It shows you the kind of distance that Jeff or Finch may be feeling. Oh my god. So I love this close-up shot on Tom Hanks. He is a focus point, so it's understandable why he's being lit. It is one of the things that we ignore in movies, but I think it is beautifully done because it does allow you to only focus on the beautiful acting of Tom Hanks and his story. He is framed half of the screen. This is done on purpose because he's having a conversation with Jeff. He is on the right side of the screen. Jeff is on the left side and they're divided down the middle. It's more of a natural framing for a conversation. Now I love these super close-up shots for the flashback. I do like that there is no filter sometimes that they do vignettes. They didn't do any of that. We have already established where Hank and Jeff are so we don't need any special filters or a way to show that this is a flashback. We already know it by Tom Hanks narrating. So there is foreshadowing that this is about the dog. It's an insert shot of Goodyear's tires on sale and the name of the dog is Goodyear's. I like the pen from the insert shot to the close-up shot of the girl feet. A lot of this flashback, if it ever becomes a mid or wide shot, the background is always blurry. This is to show that Tom Hanks really doesn't remember this is the only thing I think that they use as a flashback tool is that when you're thinking back you don't always think of the full details you just narrow in on certain things which is why I like the close-ups I like that you don't need to see everything that Tom Hanks is saying because again none of that matters it's Finch's reaction to this that matters it's his expression on his face that matters about this story and how it impacted him. And now the shot where you see the girl and the conflict on the right side and Finch is on the left side. But if you notice, the gap has slightly gotten closer together. And then again, you get an even closer close-up of Tom Hanks' character. His face is clearly lit. He is the focal point of this shot. Yet in the background, you have the event that's going on. It is blurry as can be, indicating that Finch does not want to relive this. He didn't even want to live it in the moment when he was during this time. It does show a lot in this small framing of this shot. So framing is important. Now, I don't know if they did it on purpose, but the little like lightning that comes out when you see the reaction to Jeff, it just reminds me of the gunshots that went off. I don't know if they did that on purpose or if it was just fun timing. I love this worm's eye view of Tom Hanks character coming into the shot. There's a lot more light in it because it's reflecting off the building, but it also feels a little bit more hopeful and with the help of the music and the lighting and the fact that he's coming into frame and it's a worm's eye view, all of it working together to make you feel kind of hopeful. And then the close-up shot on the backpack in the tire, which if you notice is Goodyear, the tire brand, and is the dog's name. Hence how he got his name. This is showing you rather than telling you, and it's a beautiful way of doing it. I know it's not much. I know we could dive into even more things about it, but super well done scene. I love that it is the climax of Finch's character and there is no resolution. He never becomes courageous. I love that you just stick to who he is as a person and why he cares about the dog so much. All right, so tell me what you guys think. Did you agree with me? Did you not agree with me? Am I overthinking things? I do that a lot. If you like any of my other breakdown videos, I'll put them on the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and bye.